What is virtual memory? Have you ever played a game with really great graphics, but then you notice your computer starts slowing down and then you get this message. So you may be wondering what is virtual memory? Virtual memory is when an area of storage or disk space is used as if it was primary memory, used when you run out of RAM to run software and files. So this is how it works. If you remember from our video on the difference between storage and memory, your memory, or your RAM for example, is where you store the programs and files you are currently working on. So when you're using your computer, your operating system is already using up some of your RAM. Then we use our browser to download some files off the internet. And then maybe we open up our word processor to work on a document. And then we open a PowerPoint that we are creating based on the word document. As you can see, our memory is getting pretty full. Now we open an image editor program and there is not enough memory for this program. So now our operating system will use some of your hard drive space as virtual memory. The Word document seems to be inactive and not doing much, so maybe we'll move it to virtual memory to make space in the RAM for the image editor. Now that your image is done, you want to work on your Word document. When you go back to it, the operating system may move the inactive web browser to virtual memory and bring the Word document back into RAM. And it keeps doing this as it manages all the programs you are currently working with. But note, in reality, whole programs are not necessarily moved, but only what we call pages of memory that have a fixed size. The operating system doesn't only do this when memory is full, but uses virtual memory in advance in the event that memory is going to be all used. I was just using whole programs in this explanation, so you get the idea of how it works. And because virtual memory uses storage space, that's why even if you have a one terabyte hard drive, you can't use 100% of the space, as some of the space is needed to be reserved for virtual memory. Virtual memory allows your computer to juggle more tasks and bigger tasks without dropping anything. It steps in when physical memory is maxed out, giving your computer the ability to handle large programs and multitasking without crashing. Two important concepts in virtual memory are paging and swapping. Paging is like your computer's way of managing its workload efficiently. It divides your programs into smaller chunks called pages, making it easier to handle them. Swapping, on the other hand, is like a magician's trick. When a program is not actively being used, the operating system swaps it out of RAM and brings in another program that needs to run. This ensures your active tasks have the fastest access to the precious RAM space. The operating system is the one in charge of all this memory management. It decides what data to move in and out of RAM, making sure the right data is in RAM when a program needs it, and managing the constant shuffle between RAM and the hard drive. But here's the catch. Accessing data from RAM is lightning fast, but fetching it from a hard drive that is acting as virtual memory takes much longer. So your computer slows down because it's working with the data at a tortoise pace compared to RAM speed. So the more you rely on virtual memory, the slower your computer becomes. And another issue is thrashing. Thrashing is a situation where the operating system spends the majority of its time swapping data between your RAM and memory, to the extent that it is unable to perform any of its useful tasks. You may notice this when the disk drive light is constantly flashing, but yet your computer is really slow, or even unresponsive. And that's when you may get a message like the one we mentioned earlier. So although virtual memory is a really useful technique, trying to use faster memory as much as possible is always best. So to minimize the negative performance issues when it comes to virtual memory, you can always close unnecessary programs to free up memory so your operating system needs to use less virtual memory. If your computer's performance is generally slow, having more virtual memory isn't really a great solution. It's always better to buy more RAM. Check out what type of RAM your computer uses and if there are slots available so that you know which one will be best for your computer. Also check which version operating system you are using. A 32-bit version can only work with up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. So only if you have a 64-bit version can you upgrade to more than 4 gigabytes of memory. Sometimes the program you are using requires the pages that you are swapping between RAM and virtual memory to store more information. So some programs may request you to change the page size. Changing the page size in a computer's memory system is like adjusting how big the boxes are when you are moving. Imagine you have a lot of stuff to move and you choose between smaller boxes or big ones. Smaller boxes mean you can pack your things more efficiently, but you have to move a lot more boxes, which takes more time and effort. On the other hand, bigger boxes means fewer trips, but you may end up wasting some space in each box. But changing the page size is similar. It's about finding the right balance between using memory space efficiently and not making the computer work too hard moving data around. You can check out this setting in your control panel and adjust it if you need to. And there you have it. Virtual memory helps your computer juggle tasks, but remember, virtual memory is not a limitless resource. Being mindful of the number of programs you run and keeping your system updated will help your computer perform at its best. For more computer terms, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms. Leave a like, leave a comment, and share us with your friends. 
And remember to follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.